this is the main interface that you've got when you open up the software you've got your main drawing area here in the middle which is kind of like your digital paper is where you're going to draw and do all your action and everything on the side here you've got your main uh, tools these are your drawing and creation tools if you've ever used something like Photoshop or a paint program then these should be fairly familiar uh, you've got paintbrush, pencil, rubber, text, paint pot, all that kind of stuff um, down the bottom here is your timeline this is where your you're going to see how your frames are working, how your drawings are working. You've got um, frame numbers across the top. Then you've got a foreground layer, a background layer, and then you can add in some sound down here. So you can either import sounds yourself. Uh, the software comes with some sound effects and things which I'll show you in a bit. Um, you can put dialogue in here, all sorts of stuff really, and just bang it in there and it will play along with your drawings and your animation. Um, across the top, obviously, the usual uh, new file, open file, you know, save, cut, copy, paste, undoes, and trash. So, let's get started. So, what I wanted to show you actually is a really cool thing with the paintbrush. Um, so, we'll click the paintbrush. Now, if you come down here, you've actually got some uh, settings which you can change. So, what happens is the default is something like this. So as you can see, I'll just draw, and the line comes out as it normally would. You know, it's fairly standard. But if you change this thing down here, you can actually change the thickness and thinness of the line. So depending on, like for instance, using the Wacom tablet that I'm using now, I can change the pressure on how much I press down. So you can see that it actually responds just by me pressing harder or softer. You know, thin, thick. In thick, you know, also it's just really cool. It's more like a traditional paintbrush that you would use normally. You get that lovely thickness and thinness in the line. It lets you be a bit more creative with your drawings. And then, if you notice, as I was drawing here, it's actually reproducing it in a small version down here, which is good because then you can see exactly there's a visual representation of what you're doing, you know, of each frame that you create down here. Because some softwares they they make this really small and you can't even see it, which is a bit annoying because you know it's just I don't know I I like this system that you can see everything nice and clearly, just a little bit easier to deal with. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get rid of that. If you want to get rid of a frame, just come across to here, and that's it, and it's gone. So one thing I wanted to show you is the templates that come with the software. Now these are all you know you don't have to pay any extra for these these all come with it you just download them with the software when you get it you've got various characters here you've got sort of clip art and things you know all sorts of stuff here backgrounds you know there's loads of stuff loads of things to play around with um, but I wanted to show you this now for instance if I take this guy here this little I don't know, it's a boy in a puppy suit or something isn't it so I just I literally click and drag that in and there we go we've got something in our scene already now if you go back to your drawing tools down here so you can just click that and if I use the selection tool you see I can select it and I can actually move that whole character so I could actually animate this character moving through space just by grabbing it I can scale it up I can do all this kind of stuff but if we come over to this side this is part of the new feature which is in um, version 2 of the software and it's the auto animate feature so you've got all these different types down here if you just mouse over which actually is another thing that I like about the software is that everything if you don't know what something is like there you just put your mouse over it and it tells you what it is so this is going to be an auto rotation Auto translation, bounce, stretch. You can clear what you've done, and then this one's a crazy one. But I wanted to show you the bounce because this is really good. So you can see I've got one frame here, just this character. I brought that in from the template. Then what I'll do is I'll add a bounce. I just click the bounce, and if you see, it's actually added in a whole series of other frames, up to 21. 
and what that's done is that's actually added a bounce onto that character so if I come down to my play tools here if this is play and stop so if I press play there we go there's a character moving through space now it's, it's a very simple start but that's the thing it's a start and it took me 30 seconds something like that so if we stop that if you notice as well now that I've stopped it on a frame what is it frame 5 um, you've got pink and green and these are your before frames and your after frames and that's down here so it's also known as onion skinning in other softwares so you, you can just turn that on or off it's good to see the frame before and frame after for timing and spacing and things like that so what we'll do now is we'll go back to frame one and I want to show you if I click down here I can scroll through to the uh, sounds these are sounds that come with the software as well um, you've got all sorts in here you've got you can just preview them here so I'm not sure if you can hear that because I'm running it off the laptop I'm not sure if you can hear it through the microphone there you got that you've got what we've got animals here you've got transport uh, is there somebody laughing in here I think yes there's got lo lots of different laughers Got that got <coughs> oh, it's a cough. Yes, yeah, so there's lots of things around uh, that you can play around with, and just you know, it, it means that you don't have to worry too much about finding sound effects because you've already got these to start with. But I wanted to bring this one in. I think it's number two. So just grab that again. Just click it, drag it down, put it on here on your sound layer, and then you just literally click play. You know, again, how long did that take? That took 20, 30 seconds, the whole thing. And, you know, it's, it's something there. It's moving and it's got sound. You can change, if you wanted to change the speed of the, uh, act, um, the, way that, the rate that it's playing back, sorry. If you just, you can change it here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you just drag that. Now, if you notice, it's not changing the the rate of the sound, but it's just the playback on the on the uh, the actual animation. So you can just it's just for timing, so you can see the difference, which is a really good way for kids to learn as well the difference in the timing. <laughs> How the number of frames affects the speed at which things play back. <coughs> um, so we've gone through these. So if I, if you want to get rid of anything from the timeline, again, it's just a simple case. You can select it down here, the sound, and I just press the trash bin, remove selected sound, bang, it's gone. So I think that's really it's a really good way of you know, like I say, just getting up, getting <coughs> running, and producing something pretty quickly. Uh, if you want to publish out your work at the end of uh, once you finish. Come down here, click the publish, the little platform button, and you get these options here. You can publish the whole uh, movie if you've got multiple frames there. You can publish it to iPod, QuickTime, Flash, YouTube, Facebook. You can print separate frames or uh, export sh uh, snapshot, which could be saving out a JPEG file or something like that. Or if you only wanted certain frames, you just select them here, and then again, just choose which one you want there. So that was a quick overview of the software. Um, I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you've got any comments, just put them underneath this video, uh, or just go to animationsoftwareforkids.net, um, and you can contact me there. I hope this has been useful, and you kids enjoy using Flipboom All Star. Thanks very much. Bye.